Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 35 of Football Manager 20. Got a few things just to kind of catch up on. Not that. Uh, let's see, last match was Liverpool with the double penalty shootout. If you haven't checked that out, you might want to go back. But uh, you can see the run of form. Kind of hit and miss, to be honest. Stoke, we had a 2-2 draw. We had two goals in the opening nine minutes. Uh, Aaron Collins did pick up his 58th goal of his career for Forrest Green. So he currently is one goal away from equalizing the club record for most goals in club history. Unfortunately, we gave up uh, two goals in the you know later in the game uh, and could not find the net again. Cardiff beat us 1-0 with a 79th minute goal. We did beat Rotherham 2-0. Kyle McGinnis had two goals in the first half. Uh, then we lost 4-2 to Derby. Uh, Tyler Roberts with a 95th minute uh, cherry on top of their Sunday. Kyle McGinnis and Farron Rawson with goals in that one for us. Uh, just not enough. Joe Lolly with two goals, including a penalty in the uh, first eight minutes of the match. Nottingham Forest was a nil-nil uh, snooze fest. Luton Town, we beat 5-0. Harvey White had a penalty and a stoppage time goal in the first half. Harvey Elliott, Craig Mitchell, and Leighton Stewart added goals as well. Crystal Palace was a tough one. We gave up another early penalty. Uh, Harvey White was injured in this one, and he'll be out for a while. We lost 2-1. to one. Uh, Harvey Elliott taking the penalty with White out of the game. Uh, three two. We we uh, this was considered an upset over Swansea. Nathan McGinley, Oscar, and Adam Ida uh, with goals, and then Leeds just beat us two one. Aaron Collins scored early, and that equalizes the club record for most career goals at fifty nine. So one more, and he will move uh, into first place on that list. Uh, two late goals, an 84th minute and a 95th minute goal uh, cost us the win and points in this one. So today we're back for Preston and Sheffield Wednesday. Taking a look at the competition, we are solidly mid, you know, mid table, sort of, <laughs> on 50 points. Uh, good news is we're 32 points clear of relegation and that's all we're shooting for this year. So I think we're okay for that, knock on wood, but uh, again, 14 draws and now 10 losses on the season. We do have a plus 19 goal differential, which is tops in the league. Well, I'm sorry, it's not, uh, but you know, we're, we're, we're up there, but we just are not making it count. So when we lose, it's tight. When we win, typically it's big. But you can see we're well behind the pace set by those clubs up in the playoff position. Still 11 points is doable. I just don't think we've got the form or the consistency to do it. Uh, also moving into the medical center, uh, Kyle McGinnis, who was going to be our replacement for Harvey White. Uh, he tore some knee ligaments. He's out for six to eight months. Harvey White tore some wrist ligaments. He's got four more weeks on the shelf. Aaron Collins pulled a hamstring recently. He's out for about another week and a half. Daniel Hart recuperating from that torn thigh muscle, and he will pick up training in four days after him missing a while. So Hart, one of our projected starters. Collins definitely in the mix. White, a starter. McGinnis, basically first option off the bench at that position. So we are running a little... A little shallow here. I don't think we've had any more transfers. I think we covered all that. Ibu Adams maybe well, maybe not. Starantino went to Luton for two hundred and fifteen thousand and Ibu Adams is off on a loan fee uh, for seventy two thousand, which basically pays his salary per month. And we did we, oh, we did sign two new players, uh, so let's take a quick look at them. This guy we had, we had kind of talked about. Uh, of course, we just brought McGinnis in in December. Uh, but uh, Abdu Dakati comes in from Parma for 775000 He's 24 years old from Senegal, 
and he's valued at 1.4, three-star current, four-star potential. He can play central mid. He can play defensive mid. Uh, he has had seven appearances for us. He's playing right off a of seven. Two yellow cards, still looking for his first goal, and uh, 85% pass rating in the league. So pretty well-rounded. I do like him. I think he fits into that defensive mid slot pretty well. Uh, he can move up into that central mid. Uh, he does have the passing, so maybe he's an option for White. We'll look at him. And then we also brought in Ezekiel Vidal. So this is a guy we looked at. We had signed him from San, San Martin, and he was going to join us in July. And literally the last day of the transfer window, we had an option to buy. So we were getting him on a free. We had an option to buy at five hundred and seventy-five thousand. Well, we still have one point six million in our transfer budget, so I'm not. In fact, I don't know if this makes a difference. If we get rid of our transfer budget to make it look to the board like we've spent it all, maybe we'll get more next year. Because don't they take it away and they kind of drop your money if you aren't spending it? So maybe that will help. I don't know. But that gives us uh, $4 million in payroll, which we're not going to touch. Uh, but anyway, so we had the money. And I said, yeah, let's go ahead and buy him. I don't know how much he's going to play. He started three, came off the bench in three. He is struggling to get up to speed. Six and a half rating. Not, not really doing what I want. I wasn't projecting him to be a day one starter. But you can see he's valued at 3.3 million, three and a half star current and potential ability. So, you know, if he can get up to speed, I think he could be a really good winger for us. Uh, but I was kind of picturing him more depth by bringing, really the bringing him in was to use the transfer budget. Uh, I was picturing him coming in in July at the end of the season and getting into the rotation for next year uh, when we're losing uh, freer up top we have signed uh, rawson our center back our star center back one of the main guys on our club uh, we have signed him to a four-year extension he had two years left on his deal we just wanted to keep him locked up so he got a pretty nice little pay raise and other than that that's about it all right let's get into preston this is the fifth cup fifth cup fifth round of the fa cup and I've broken out this tactic. It's a 4-2-3-1. I look at it that basically it's our 4-4-1-1, just moving our wingers up into more attacking, which we were playing in uh, the Bielsa ball tactic. So, you know, it's basically this tactic, moving our wingers up. So that's kind of what I was looking at. A little bit, drop a little bit. That puts it back kind of in the ballpark of what we currently play, but need to let them train up on that a little bit. So we're going to go with the 4-4-1-1. I have shelved Beals a ball for the moment. And let's go attacking with this today. Ida up top, Oscar in the number 10, Mitchell, Diakati, Morell, Elliott in the midfield, Wharton, McGinley, Rawson, and Williams on the back line, and Palmer, and of course, Abdu Diakati, the midfielder, that we just looked at. So he will slot in there. And we'll have uh, Mirez, Kiko, who's that defensive mid, Stewart, Ball, Bennett. I think we're good there. If I remember from last episode, which I recorded yesterday, I think we are three wins away from the finals in the FA Cup. And this, is, this should be a winnable match. So let's get some early creativity. Williams with the throw into the box. Oh, that was not good. Cleared out. Wharton tracks it down. He lays it back. McGinley puts it down into the corner for Mitchell. Wharton comes in to pick it up. Elliott. Oh, my God. And there's a blistering shot from Joe Morrell. That defender probably should have closed down, but Morrell got past him on the inside and was able to get to the ball first for basically a clear shot. 
and we are up 1-0. Early advantage. All right, there's Diachetti. A nice ball over the top to Williams on the wing. Back uh, right into Darlow's hands. I really want to enlarge the... I just can't get this new computer dialed in with the resolution that I want. <laughs> it is just not working out. Oscar flipped away by Darlow. Good save by him. Oscar could have made him work a little harder for that, possibly. Near post, there's a header, and Darlow with another save. Darn. Seven shots, five on target. We're making him work. We are making him work. Oh, my goodness. Joe Rafferty, his first goal, and 25 yards out. That was a little unlucky. That was a little unlucky. He was unmarked and just no way for the keeper to get on the line there. Uh, let's demand more. Wharton into the box. Easy save for the keeper. He has really been on his game today. A quick pass there. Through ball. And McG McGuire. Sean McGuire, his fifth of the season. Josh Harrop. I'm going to dial it back to positive since we are losing the possession battle. Come on, boys. Show some passion. All right. Controlling the ball, hopefully. Why? Play the ball the other way, fellas. Right, there's Rawson. There's a move to the outside for Williams. He's on a run. Lays it off to Elliott, and what a shot across the goal to the far post. Just parks it inside the wood for his sixth of the season. Williams with the assist, and that equalizes at two. We should really be winning this game. We have let some horrible, horrible goals in today. All right, well, excellent effort so far. No yellows. Let's, uh, let's get creative again. And they are on a counter here in the early going. Harop, middle of the field. Potts. Oh, there's an interception by Elliott. He's going to bring it in all by himself. Oh, man. It, it would have just bounced a little differently. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's bring Mitchell off for Janiel Bennett. Ducati, let's bring on Dominic Ball. I could have gotten rid of the yellow card, but not what I wanted to do at this minute. Let's show some passion. All right, I'm going to drop back to balanced. And Terrence Baia. Let's go ahead and bring him on for Wharton. All right, Williams picks up the ball, plays it back to Palmer. We'll get a fresh build from the back here. There's Bennett. And he loses it. He steals it. Over dribbles, cuts inside, and it's in the net. Janiel Bennett, his first of the season. Definitely a super sub move. I uh, cannot make the adjustment just yet. All right, let's skip that. Yes, and in transition, let's slow the pace down. And we do have tighter marking on. Let's give him some praise for fighting back. Williams to Elliott. Oh, he beats his man, and then Rafferty takes him down. That's a red card, and I think that was a straight red, not even a yellow. Is that not going to be a penalty? 
and we're not going to see a highlight from that. I thought that was a penalty. I thought he, I thought he nutmegged him, stepped over, and got taken down in the box. We'll take the three-two win, though. Pretty good affair from a performance standpoint, and I'm seeing that a lot this year. But you see how close the result is. We're just not, not quite nailing it down. So. Come from behind, fifth round win. That's worth half a million dollars. That's big for us. Uh, McCarthy spotted at the grounds. Ireland boss, he's looking at Ida Rafferty and Alan Brown. Okay, well, that's good. So we got a couple of guys up for possible, possible international call-ups. All right, we'll be right back for the next match. <laughs> All right, we're back for Sheffield Wednesday. They are, see, this is what I'm running into. They're favorites, and they're in relegation. So, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what to think. Tell you what, let's drop back to balance since we're the underdog here. All right, Hutchinson. You know what, let's give Hutchinson a start. Let's bring him in for McGinley. Actually, let's not do that. Let's bring him in for Rawson. Rawson's one of our stars, but I think Hutchinson has a lot of upside. He's 20 years old. Miras will be in. Do I want to play somebody else besides Diacati? I don't think so. Hey, you know what? Let's uh let's play Kiko there. Let's play Kiko. And Collins is still out. I'm tempted to play Stewart. God, I think he could be so good. But Ida's got the finishing, and he has got 19 goals. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how you take him off the field. All right, let's get to it. Not too much going on here early. We're dominating possession, so I'm going to jump up to positive. Right, played back to the keeper. There's Palmer. Back outside, Mirez. Gets it up to Elliot, who cuts it inside. Mirez with the overlap. Oh, cross in, but that was not good. There's one over the top. McGinley. Oh, Asambalanga, his 14th of the season. McGinley's the one that, you know, I would expect to do a better job there, right? I would. But he did not. So let's, uh, let's demand more here. Still holding the possession battle, which we know means exactly jack shit. All right, Mirez lays it off. Elliot squares into Kiko. Uh, Kiko takes a shot, Ajaye with the block. Mitchell, Mitchell, and a tap in from Ida for his 20th. Mitchell with two shots, bad angle, really tight right off the line. But luckily hit it just hard enough to get a bounce off, and Ida was there for the putback. And then he promptly goes out and picks up a yellow card. Let's get a little creativity. And they get the highlight. Hopefully we can uh, turn this around. They're up across midfield. Asambalanga again. Into the box. Palmer does make a save here. I'm kind of, kind of regretting not having Rawson. Miraz has won and lost right side of the pitch. So I think let's bring uh, marking, passing. His crossing's okay as well. Yeah, let's bring ball on there. For Mirez. He's not as good, but that way I've still got Rawson to bring on to the middle. 
And how is Kiko doing? He's playing a 6-6. Six, six. Let's bring let's bring Diacati on for him. Ask him to watch his step. And ask for early creativity again. Oh, just, oh offsides. Thank goodness, because that was about an easy putback. Boy, boy, boy. We got lucky first off that it even hit the wood, and then it dropped right to a Sambalonga. All right, some good ball movement here. Finds the open man. Wharton with a run up. We're on the left side, so that's good. And that goes right to the keeper who flubs it. Oh, and Ida just runs in and taps it in for the easy putback. O'Hara, that's going to haunt him at night. That was an easy shot. Uh, let's uh, push forward. All right, they're frustrated. Fair enough. Come on, boys. All right, I'm going to pull a sub here. You know, Hutchinson's not playing badly. McGinley is struggling today. So let's do that and then pull Rawson on. I want to make sure... Yep, he's on the right side. That's where we want him. Oh, right into O'Hara's hands. That was a powerful header. Possibly a little unlucky for us. Rodriguez out in space. Beats the defender. Oh, and he just buried it, but he was off. There was an offsides. Not sure who it was on. Oh, boy, that was lucky. They just kept pushing up and pushing up. I guess Rodriguez was offsides. The guy in the center most definitely was offsides. All right, let's do our slow the pace down when we've got the ball. We do have a corner. Oscar lines up to take it. He's going to send it somewhere. All right, let's, uh, let's tighten up. And just hold on, please. There we go. 2-1 victory. Ida with a brace. They came back with 15 shots, 10 on target. We both had two chances created. Could have been a little bit better. Could have been a little bit better. Uh, but, hey, excellent efforts. I will be happy with that. Let's go ahead and finish out the day. Ida, you were superb in front of goal. Taking a look at the competition. Let's look at the stages here. All right, so three wins in five, but we did drop six points. Three, three, so we made up some ground on Fulham. Cardiff is fading out. Reading has faded out a little bit. Middlesbrough's dropped. Uh, you know, I mean, there's a lot of these clubs at the top of the table outside of West Brom that have dropped a few more points than us. So we're still 11 points out of the playoffs. So we haven't made up any ground in total, which is disappointing. Oh, I was wondering why it was uh, showing a loss. That was uh, league games. So, but we do pick up a, a couple of wins, and we are into the FA Cup quarterfinals. And we'll be playing Newcastle. So let's see, Premier's... So Crystal Palace or Arsenal. So it's possible we'll be the only non-premiership side in the final eight. And that's probably where our run is going to come to an end. We did stun Liverpool, but I wouldn't hold breath for that again. Newcastle, they're 10th. So they're not doing great. But only, four, uh, well, 12 losses, so a negative three goal differential. So eh, it's possible, I guess. Anything's possible. 
All right, Ida's on 21 goals, still sitting second. Harvey White, best average rating in the league. Uh, let's see, Ida's tied for second in player of the matches, and McGinley and Rawson won and tied for second in yellow cards. Probably not one of the categories that we want to be in there. I did get a job interview request from Wolves. I did take it. I went to the interview. I was a little sarcastic in it. You know, I used some opportunities to give some responses that I don't normally give in job interviews. Like, um, you know, when they ask you kind of a stupid question, like, are, are you, you know, you've only been at one club. Does that you know, and, you know, does that hurt you uh, in moving to a new job? And I was like, uh, you know, really, dude, I think that, you know, my success speaks for itself, you know. And so, you know, I don't know if that had a role to do with it. But <laughs> but anyway, uh, so Wolves, they're currently uh, 13th, uh, but they went in another direction. Just they, they went with this guy. And to be fair, three and a half star reputation, so a little bit better than me. He's actually a good coach, unlike that situation with Leeds where I felt really done over hard. But I don't think we're going to be making playoffs this year, so let's come back for Newcastle and probably Crew, and then uh, we'll probably just finish out the season. Uh, in fact, what I might do... If I can get through the matches, we might do three episodes and just do those two and the season finale against Fulham and just call this season done because we're not going anywhere. Let's see, we've got three, we've got 20, I mean, you know, we've got 27 points to play for. I mean, that would put us on 80. There's a, I mean, you know, but our form has not suggested that we'll do anything with that. So... Eh, yeah, I think, you know, definitely we'll do Newcastle and then I'll make a decision at that point. Um, what I may do is do Newcastle and then go ahead and play all the rest off camera and just do Fulham as a second match and just be, you know, unless we win that match. We'll see. So we'll see you guys next episode. Thanks so much for coming by. Uh, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, I don't stream, so don't worry about watching me four days a week. Uh, <laughs> you know who that is. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye.